It's a reckless retiree here, and I wanted to show you an update on my basket lowering mechanism for my hydrogen making rig, large scale, using a 55 gallon drum. So, <clears throat> down below here you see a stainless steel basket that is being hung on some hooks which are connected to that rod that's coming through the center of the lid. And this mechanism right here is to push down on the stopper which is inside of the stainless steel nut. With the idea in mind that by tightening on these nuts It'll pull these brackets down, pull them down, and push down on these washers, pushing down on this black part, plastic uh, part, which was push on the rubber stopper, and therefore force it against the base, but also push the sides of it in around the rod, sealing it. That is the idea okay so here here's one of these whole ones from uh, look the look inside you can see those ribs in there and um, this is actually uh, supposed to be a leg for a table the uh, wheels would go down here but uh, I cut it off at the right height so that it would fit around that rubber stopper tightly and then when it was forced down it would force the sides of the rubber stopper in to make a seal in addition to that i've glued this in addition to this i have taken this pool hose that i use for my pool uh, for the cleaner in the pool and i have excess of these because we've bought and bought three of these cleaners over the years and so each time they come with a lot of hose and so have excess hose so I've glued it into the bung of this lid and I have it clamped in place clamped down so pressure on it for the glue to to cure it takes about a half an hour then on the other end of this, on the inside, let's see if we can see that, yes. See that flange sticking through? My intent is to cut that into flaps that will then be screwed into the metal, which will give it a great strength in being pulled out, so it can't be pulled out. But the, the glue hopefully will seal it so no gas will escape. And then, uh, the hydrogen being made in the drum once that basket is lowered into the solution why we'll escape through that hose and into another container which will be a bubbler and then a dryer and then a exercise ball I used as a, uh, a, a um, bladder to collect the hydrogen and then from there, it can be directed to fill up balloons, into a heater, into a engine. That's the dream. So this is the next step in making this all happen. Now these are the heights when the basket is pulled up like it is now. Like it is now. This is the height from the top of the um, basket to the lid and the bottom of the basket to the lid. All right, so then I'm going to put the liquid level in the drum to be somewhere just below 11 inches. So then when I push the rod in, 
the basket will lower, go down, into the liquid. You know, it can, it can uh, move as far as five inches. Then the basket will be under the lye and the aluminum will be reacting with the lye, making hydrogen. When I'm done making hydrogen, I release the pressure on the seal and pull the, the handle up like it is now, pull the basket out of the lye and the process stops. So you can turn it on and off the hydrogen making process. Which I think is a first. Well, it's probably not a first. First that I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> Who knows, maybe somebody in the industry is doing something similar or much better than this. But uh, this is what I'm coming up with. So, again, I'm going to have to wait for the weather to warm up in the spring, which is coming. And then we'll test that adequately.